Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back, welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. You know, um, thanks for being here. You guys know the drill by now, you guys know the drill. Box up, thump up, kick up, you know, the like button. Free and easy ways to give the youths them a strength scene. Um, all right, so we want to talk right now a little bit of reggae girl scene. We have to talk reggae girls because you know that this is an ongoing thing with the reggae girls in terms of what is taking place with the, the, the coaching staff, right? And so yesterday, Crystal and I, Crystal from Talawa TV, big up Crystal, big up, big up. We did a live where on her channel where we spoke about the JFF accepting the recommendation from the technical committee to keep Vin Blaine as the the coach for the reggae girls going forward into the World Cup qualifying campaign. Well, in an article, and this article is on the Jamaica Observer, and it is done by a Sheridan Cohen, Sheridan Cohen. So we have to, you know, give props to the, the platform and also the respective journalists. And this article is titled Up in the Ear. Now, in the latest development, Vin Blaine is saying that, you know, even though the, the technical committee has recommended that he should stay on and the JFF has accepted the recommendation from the technical committee, Blaine is basically saying, say, boy, him no know, right? He's saying that he is undecided and he does not know if he's going to still go forward as the coach for the reggae girls. So let us take a look at the article now. Up in the air, Blaine remains undecided despite JFF backing players ponder next move interesting so while welcoming support from the, fo the Jamaica Football Federation Vinnie Moore Vin Blaine <laughs> what a name he man Vinnie Moore Yo, that's the only person I've ever heard it that with a name like that Vinnie Moore Vin Blaine remains undecided about his future as interim head coach of the senior reggae girls. Vinnie Moore is, is such a unique name. Like, we just couldn't pass it on the set. And I said, no, seen is a, is a weird name, unique name. No one there, no one, nobody call him Vinnie Moore. Um, all right, so Blaine's comments follows news that the JFF board had accepted the recommendation of the Technical and Development Committee to continue with the veteran tactician and his staff pointing to what it deemed insufficient evidence to support the players' concerns expressed in a letter sent just over a week ago. The two-page letter signed by 20 players cited, amongst other things, the lack of confidence in the technical acumen and leadership style of Blaine and his assistants. All right, when I have finish read that paragraph, because that's not important. You guys know that already. Even though they, the JFF, say that I have not met with them. Let me repeat that. Blaine is being quoted right now. Even though they say that I have not met with them to really discuss anything. I was waiting on them to make their decision, but I have not really decided if I am staying or going. Blaine told the Jamaica Observer on Tuesday. Interesting. I spoke to them prior and told them that I won't say I am resigning until I see something come out. So know that I know what their intentions are. I am waiting to sit down with the president and discuss the way forward, Yadi. Okay. The country's governing football body, in a release, said it is in its best interest to continue with the current coaching staff with the progress closely monitored and evaluated periodically. However, the observers learned that some players are extremely disappointed with the decision to retain Blaine and his team are also considering their future with the program. Yo, okay. How many players? When them say some players are extremely disappointed, though, is it two players? Is it three players? Is it four players? Right? I think that is very important for the public to know. 
in terms of the specific amount of players. You don't have to name names, you know. You don't have to name names. But out of the, you see like how we know that 20 of them signed the document, it is very important for us to know how many of them actually want him to go. Is it 10? Is it 15? Is it all 20? Is it 5? When you say some, it, some could be 3, some could be 18. And, and, and depending on what number it is, I think the public would view things a lot different. I don't know. And it, it would certainly look, you know, based on the number, you know, it could look a whole lot different based on whichever number it is that really want him to go. Oh, boy. Um, this Blaine said was always expected and the lack of player acceptance towards the coaching staff was in fact the main reason for his hesitancy. It's still going to be a toxic environment because if I stay, I will have to remove some people and I will have to take a different approach towards the players because I know not all the players were in agreement with removing the staff. Yo, this is Blaine being quoted in and that is a very interesting comment. What JFF, what JFF sent out gives you a positive review so any coach would say the federation is supporting them but when you look at the locker room and when you look at how many people signed the document and what is happening around the team you might have people that are still unhappy with my presence blaine said and that is so true my mind was really not to go back i was about 80 percent sure i would leave and i haven't changed that view totally I will have to hold conversations with the staff because it's not about me alone, you know. And, and that's basically it in terms of what Vin Blaine is saying. The article goes on to quote other people, you know, like um, other people in and around the Jamaican footballing fraternity and their respective views. This, this part of the, the, the article is very interesting to me, though. It's still going to be a toxic environment because if I stay, I will have to remove some people and I will have to take a different approach towards the players because I know not all the players were in agreement with removing the staff. Yo, that part about... Because if I stay, I will have to remove some people. Yo, that, that is not a that is not a, a, a good. <sighs> Boy, I mean, I know. At this point in time, I think Vin Blaine, if Vin Blaine really feels that way, guys, Vin Blaine should just go. If Vin Blaine feels as though if he goes back into this thing, he's going to have to remove some people. Boss just got to go. Because that simply means that he will not be picking his best team. Alright, me no know. Honestly, I I, the JFF is caught between a rock and a hard place here because this is just an incredibly dicey affair. Because on the one hand, Carvel Stewart went on in the interview to talk about not bowing to player pressure in terms of Bowing, why? But you know what me at right? Serious thing we are, we are discuss, right? See, in terms of not wanting to to set that precedence of player power, see, that is very important. You don't want to make it seem as if the players them call the shots. But on the flip side, you don't want to have a coach that you know is coaching, you know, that has lost the dressing room. That's just not practical. Boy, I don't know, I don't know. Guys, hit me up in the comment section and tell me what you think. But Vinny Moore, Vin Blaine is saying that he's undecided as to, you know, the, the way forward, if he's going to stay or if he's going to leave. This part caught me as well when he said that. Where's that particular part? When he said that my mind was really not to go back. I was about 80% sure I would leave and I haven't changed that view totally. So guys, even despite of the JFS recommendations, it does right now appear 
as if Vin Blaine is is heading in the direction of, of, of stepping out. But this whole thing is unfortunate and hopefully, you know, if Vin, if Blaine goes, hopefully, hopefully, somebody who comes in can get these girls to adjust very quickly to um to, to a new coach. That, that's all I can say right now. This thing is crazy, man. This thing is crazy. All right, so guys, knock up the like button again. You know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stay safe, guys. Take care and until next time.